For more analysis, we turn now to Autumn Christensen, the policy director for the Susan B. Anthony List. Autumn, good to see you again. Thanks for having me. First off, can you speak to Congressman Jeff Fortenberry's record as a pro-life leader? Oh, yes. So from the moment that he came to Congress, being pro-life and speaking out for the unborn was among his top priorities. And now on the Appropriations Committee, he's able to be right there in the forefront fighting day in and day out on that powerful committee. So we're so grateful for him. And we are just over a week away from November 6th from the midterms. Can you put into perspective for us how significant these midterms are? for the pro-life movement. Yes. You know, people think about presidentials and those are certainly important, but those congressional races are so important. Just in the last couple of years, we've sat here and talked before about many of the really amazing and important pro-life policies that this administration has put forward. Those could be nullified if the Congress falls into the wrong hands. So each and every one of these races across the country is just essential to protecting the Trump pro-life agenda and promoting pro-life work across the board. Can you highlight some of the specifically female leaders the Susan B. Anthony List is endorsing for the Senate? We are really excited to have six candidates um, running for Senate. Uh, one that comes to mind right off the bat is uh, Leah Vukmer and the work that she has done in her state of Wisconsin. She has not only authored the Pain Capable bill there, but even has um, taken on Tammy Baldwin in debates and, and really spoken out for the unborn. So she is really an amazing and important um, candidate right next door. We've got Karen Housley, who is um, in Minnesota. We're excited about her. Down in Tennessee, Marsha Blackburn, who has been a stalwart leader in the House, is now uh, just duking it out for that Senate seat in Tennessee. We've got Cindy Hyde-Smith down in Mississippi, Nick Sally in Arizona, and Deb Fisher in Nebraska. So a lot of really amazing candidates that we're very excited about. We'll continue to see what happens on November 6th with those races. And finally, you know, we are nearing the halfway point for President Donald Trump's first term in office. How significant is the Senate in advancing his pro-life promises? Well, the incredible legacy of the Trump-McConnell partnership will be judges. And over 80 district and circuit court judges have been confirmed. We need to continue that. We need a strong pro-life Senate to continue that effort. Um, we feel like we're just on the other side of the Kavanaugh confirmation, but there's a possibility that there could be one or more, more vacancies during the Trump administration. So, um, you know, Clarence Thomas has, there have been rumors that he may retire. There are two other justices, Ginsburg and Breyer, who are in their 80s. So there's a lot of potential there for um, potential openings both in the Supreme Court and then that work at the district and circuit court level is so important. Absolutely, a lot is at stake right now. Autumn Christensen, Policy Director for the Susan B. Anthony List, thank you for coming by.